All right, developers, we have some more curriculum to check out. This one is a coding bootcamp that has made its curriculum free. Hmm. Raising some interesting questions about coding bootcamp education. If you're not paying for the curriculum, if you're not paying $15,000 or $20,000 for the curriculum at a coding bootcamp, what are you indeed paying for? Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. We're actually checking out this curriculum because this could be helpful for some of you watching this. So I want to help you make a decision that will best benefit you. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you the interior of this curriculum. I'll show you the layout. I'll show you some of the stuff you will be learning. You will be teaching yourself because this is 100% self-guided on your own terms, on your own time. They're just giving you the curriculum. Nothing more, nothing less. But before we pop into it, let me hop on to this landing page here. Again, this is App Academy, the site appacademy.io, and they have an in-person coding bootcamp. It's kind of expensive. They've decided to make that curriculum free. So the in-person bootcamp is 24 weeks. It's a full stack software engineering program, and it's 500 freaking hours of full stack curriculum. So again, because it's self-paced, this free version of the curriculum, you don't have to do this 24 week thing. If you wanna take two years to do it, totally up to you. Now, I'm gonna be kind of jumping back and forth because I want to point out things as they pop into my brain. About two and a half years ago, I reviewed this curriculum, but that's a long time. That's a long time ago. And a lot of stuff have ch has changed. And this is what the layout looks like from two and a half years ago. So my review, it's popping up on your screen right now if you wanna check out that review. I liked it in 2019. I probably still would like it if this was the same curriculum they showed me now. The biggest difference is that back then, they taught you Ruby in addition to JavaScript. With this new curriculum, they are teaching you, or you are teaching yourself rather, Python, Python, <laughs> sorry, get a little too enthusiastic. They're teaching you Python. You are teaching yourself Python. I need to watch my words here. You are teaching yourself Python in addition to JavaScript, okay? So look at all this curriculum. I'm not gonna show you every single lesson. Again, it's free. You can sign up and check it out for yourself. But here is just, ooh, I am getting fatigued going through all this stuff. So it starts out with your basic fundamentals, as you would expect, JavaScript fundamentals. Yes, there's a little introduction here, getting you warmed up to the concept of programming. This whole onboarding thing is about an hour. And then you get into JS fundamentals, data types, functions, control flow. Woo. So what I like about this new revamp is that compared to the old layout, is that it was just kind of like jumping in to the lessons, whether they're videos or reading it, graphics, whatever. You would just click on the lesson and jump into it without knowing the time investment. You could hover over this video and kind of see, but like as far as a conceptual overview and seeing how long this stuff was, it was pretty difficult, if not impossible to do. With this one, you can do it right off the bat. So you just go scroll down to any old lesson, any old chunk of material you're wanting to learn, and they show you, okay, HTML forms, this is gonna take about two hours generally to complete. Capstone project, four hours. Some of the stuff is video, most of it is text. All right, so I'm gonna warn you, if you're new to software development and you don't like reading, you kind of have a few options. You can learn to like to read, uh, or you can just stick with some of the videos. Let's see if I can find a video for you guys. Here we go. Once you get into like the chapters or whatever you want to call these things, the individual lessons show you if it's reading or video. So this one, basic terminal navigation, that's a good old fashioned video. Hit play, you're not gonna hear anything, but this person is giving you the rundown on how to navigate the terminal. There are also plenty of quizzes with this curriculum. We have a scope quiz here, declaring variables, free response, JavaScript variables, quiz, arrows, function, and all of this stuff right here, multiple choice. Going back here, I did see a few projects and that's something I did wanna point out. You're gonna see a lot of things that say projects. Some of them to me, in my opinion, they're more like challenges or just end of lesson, review your knowledge. 
So let's go in here, context in JavaScript, challenge projects. This is actually, okay, so they, they did say challenge, the tic-tac-toe challenge. Okay, it, maybe it's a matter of semantics, but for me, this is something you probably wouldn't wanna put in your final web developer portfolio when you're shopping for employers. These things are just a little tad bit on the basic side, maybe not this Connect Four, but there were some other ones on here where I'm like, okay, this is definitely more of a challenge than a project. That said, whoops, I don't wanna search for brackets, I wanna search for projects. That said, uh, Command F turned up 58 different results for project. So there are capstones on here. There are challenges that are hiding out as projects and vice versa. But this one, okay, this is more towards portfolio territory, building your first website. This is gonna be a pretty big project, especially if you're new to development and you're, then you're gonna deploy it to Netlify. So they're saying this is gonna take four hours. If it ends up taking two days, don't worry. If it ends up taking an hour, I wouldn't worry about that either. Feel free to spend more time on it if it doesn't take you that long, but this is self-paced and everyone's different as far as how quickly they will absorb this information, apply this information, implement and deploy this information, etc. As we go down here, you're gonna go into intermediate JavaScript and there we are again, getting started with node, JavaScript objects, callbacks, scope and closure, all this stuff you would pretty much expect to see in a full stack curriculum, or at least I would hope so. Then we go on to something interesting, test driven development and OOP. Okay, this is a great addition. OOP is something I haven't seen in a lot of these boot camps. When we're talking about the video based boot camps like on Udemy, there's just so much other information to go over that OOP is kind of like an afterthought when they do include it. Okay. So my dog is chewing on my microphone. Rupert, get down. Okay, context in JavaScript, TDD basics, intermediate TDD. So the test-driven development, they kind of go hard on. There are a lot of lessons on here for TDD. And then you go into data structures and algorithms. Ooh, looks like I've completed some of this stuff. There are some graphics and illustrations here. Not a lot that I've seen, but just enough to keep it interesting. So you're not like constantly eyes glazing over. Pixel perfect clone project. And by the way, if you do have development experience and you're looking for project ideas and need some guidance or just want to read along to a project, this could be a good platform for you. It's free. There are some cool projects in here. Express and SQL, okay, it, developers, it just goes on and on. And then we have Python, which I like that they kept this till, I don't know, probably the last quarter of the curriculum. They go through the basics, they go through structured data, an advanced section on structured data. And then at the very end, they even show you a Python framework flask. It's good that they're including these diverse frameworks and concepts and paradigms including, as I mentioned before, OOP, great to see. Docker and microservices, Docker images, and then they close it out with microservices. Holy shiznit, this is a lot of stuff. Again, it's 500 hours developers, can you handle it? The nice thing about this is that because it's free, it's self-paced, you don't have to finish the 500 hours. If you wanna go all the way and be like, hey, <laughs> I actually completed an entire real bootcamp curriculum, absolutely 100%. And also too, I researched, and I don't know if this is correct or not or accurate, but they're saying the Google sphere is telling me that their acceptance rate at App Academy is 5%. So a little on the exclusive side, if you can't um, seem to come to terms with the price of a coding bootcamp, or maybe you just can't afford it, period, uh, maybe you applied to this bootcamp but did not get accepted. Here's an opportunity to still kind of attend, pseudo attend. All in all, a very compelling product, uh, curriculum, whatever you want to call it, provided to us by App Academy Open. Again, two and a half years ago, I thought this was pretty good. I did have some critiques. I mean, just as I do now, you know, this is a curriculum. This does not mean that you're gonna get a job. This doesn't mean you're gonna understand the material. You don't have a mentor included or an, an instructor included with this curriculum. Um, so there are a lot of ways to jump off the boat 
when you're going through this stuff. Let me know if you've taken this curriculum before, what you think. Is this something you're interested in pursuing? Or are you more of a $14.99 special on Udemy type of person where it's all video? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you're having a fabulous day. Peace out. Peace out.